if you were lucky enough to get an FJ and an FJ with the differential locker in the rear, then you're in luck. However, if you got a very bare bones FJ cruiser like I do, not only do you not have a differential lock in the rear, but you also do not have something called A-Track. A-Track is a type of traction, electronic traction control system that allows you to keep progress moving forward even if you have one or more wheels slipping. A standard four wheel drive vehicle, if one of the wheels in the front and one of the wheels in the rear start slipping or they get into the air, you will no longer make any forward traction whatsoever. You will not make any forward progress. And that's because as that wheel slips, the other wheel can't get any torque whatsoever. So you're effectively two wheel drive when you lose traction on two out of the four wheels. That's unfortunate because you get stuck very easily. Traction aids like a differential lock or electronic traction control will prevent you from being stopped in those types of situations. So in final thought, this feels like a true two wheel drive vehicle to me. If you've got a differential lock that would bridge the rear axle, that gives you three wheel drive and then if you have electronic traction control around the entire thing, that gives you about three and a half wheel drive. Now, since I'm two wheel drive effectively, when I put electronic traction control on this, I feel like it gives a half additional wheel on each the front and the rear. So that gives me an effective three driven wheel drive. So that's effectively how I view these things moving up a hill and off road, especially when you have low traction areas like wheels in the air or on ice. My objective today is to figure out a way to get electronic traction control to work with this FJ, which again is a bare bones FJ without any of the special traction control features. All credit for this hack goes to Dan or Pumba on FJ Cruiser Forms. If you're not a member of FJ Cruiser Forms, I recommend it highly. They have lots of technical people who've done lots of different modifications to their FJ, and it's where I've done most of my learning. You will know very quickly if you need this hack by looking at your buttons. If you do not have an A-Track or differential lock button, you should do this hack. Pull out your glove box, remove the little shock, pinch the end, and pull the shock off. Pull this forward on the bottom so it unclicks both sides. Pull in the stops on either side and then slowly withdraw it and the whole glove box should come out. That'll give you better access to this B45 connector. Here's the connector we're looking for. Look way down here and it's that blue connector right there that appears to be covered in tape. So we're gonna remove that tape. We've got the jumper connection free. I'm still gonna have to cut some more of that electrical tape because there's not enough uh, wire length for me to work with. Here I've taken off quite a bit of that electrical tape. Plenty of room now to maneuver in there. I'll wind up uh, rewrapping this with electrical tape when I'm done. Here's the connector. And here's the back side with the wires coming into the connector. You can see this is the clip at the top. And we want to go for this wire right here see it I've grabbed it that's pin number nine the pins are numbered over here on the right hand side one two three four five that's the top row and the bottom row is six seven eight that's the yellow and black one and then nine is this wire right here we're gonna cut this wire and then connect this wire into a switch but first we're gonna test it I'll show you how the car behaves in low range with this wire intact and then I'm going to cut the wire and what that does is it will trick the computer into thinking that we're not in low range but in high range and therefore it should be able to allow the traction control to continue working in low range so that's the idea so let's go take a look at the car look at the dashboard see what lights turn on then we'll clip this and do the exact same thing we're in two-wheel drive now switching to four-wheel drive you can see the four-wheel drive indicator turned on and the vehicle stability control turns off. Then we're going to go into four low and that's the indicator. You see right there, that's the traction control saying we're not going to do anything. Um, we're not going to be active. And so what we want to do is we want to cut that wire and see if that light turns off under the same conditions. So I'm going to switch it back to two-wheel drive and then we'll do the same test. That wire is now true and thoroughly cut. Putting myself in two four-wheel drive high. Again, four-wheel drive indicator. 
vehicle stability control off. Now into four low. Okay, and you can see the little squiggly car is missing, which means this seems to have worked. Obviously we'll have to take it off road to know for certain, but uh, yeah, pretty easy fix there. Now just wiring up a switch. We'll see how that goes. Save a little bit of time. I'm using this trim removal tool to just pull the button I want uh, where I want to put my little four low track in. I got that out pretty easily. That way I don't have to tear apart the entire center console. We'll see if we can shove the wires through. Fishing these wires through are super easy. That was a lot easier than I had hoped. You can see I just got them slammed right through there. Now I just have to connect it in and I'll show you the wiring. This four low track switch came with four wires. There was a yellow one that was right next to this black one. And there's actually two lights behind here. One lights up the four low track and one lights up off. I'm going to omit the off light because I don't have enough voltage in series to run it. But what I'm doing here, as you can see, I've got the green wire, which is the Let's just call that the hot wire that'll come from the car. Uh, it's connected to this blue wire through the switch itself. So when you switch it off, it disconnects the blue and the green. And when you switch it on, it connects the two. And then I've got that blue wire connected to the ground so that that four low track light turns on. So as you look at this, this green one will connect to the wire that comes out here, this wire here, and these twin leads will connect to the one that goes back to, I assume, the computer. That switch popped in nicely. You can see that would be for a low track off. That should be for a low track on. We'll take a look. So again, when I push it on, that's why I have it labeled off. It would be off and then on. All the wiring is back together. I put some extra Electrical tape back on there, zipped everything up, so it looks pretty neat. Ready to put that glove box back in, and then we'll do the full test and show you how it works. Well, I currently have the four low track off. So we'll turn this thing on here. I'm in four low. Four low track is off. You can see the light is off. Everything is dead. And you can see on the dashboard, you have the squiggly car. Okay, now we're gonna turn it on. Let me click down here. There you go, the light turned on here for low track. And your squiggly car is missing. Okay, now we have that four low track on. Take it out of low range into high range and the light turns off by itself. And again, no squiggly line. And so yeah, you just stick it into four low and the light turns on, you're good to go. Normal driving when you don't want to have that uh, extra traction, just flip it off. I really like this push button. This is a custom job. You can get it on Amazon. I'll probably uh, give a link in the description. Here's proof that the four low track actually does work. As you can see, I'm in four wheel drive low range. I've got the indicator right here telling me that I do not have traction control. I'll try to move forward. I'm on quite a icy slope, snowy slope, I'm butted up against a rock on my right hand side. So forward progress is not good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of power. And you can see I'm just spinning out my wheels nothing is happening okay now I'm going to come down here and push that four low track button you can see that indicator is now gone if you listen carefully you will hear the ABS traction control kick in and there it is so it definitely does work uh, giving me that added traction of course, I'm kind of off the road a little bit, so I'm not going to actually continue driving into the trees, etc. But just to show you that that indeed does work, if I get an opportunity to show you a better location, I will do that.